Uh, hello, welcome back to my little Murphy vlog. Um, go today. We have a 22 minute episode, which I like, probably have a ton to game about compared to from the other. Abducting Murphy Claw, written by Joshua Pirouette. I, I really hope I'm pronouncing that right, but I've been pronouncing right with me and Gwonking and Go. Why? Start. Stop that right now. Go pick up code from the title and get of the aliens. Pick day. They try for return a bit time. They actually do genuinely abduct. By the way, I'll paint them with a robot clone thing of them. And then when they catch wind of him, they must look a yak and do my shirt. No, go back to him. Um, go so pick up code to call like Vicky or equivalent to making my look. At this time, he is genuinely making from our perspective. Go so it make more sense for this one we call that, but it's not. I um, do make a joke about that, where we even have going to Kenya, who we're making last year, in the fall. Uh -huh. But apparently, according to them, that joke actually is sort of funny, it's less funny to repeat it, but at first I like that joke, fine. Um, well, I don't care for that. Apparently, it's winter now. Like, how? Like, did it not move that much? Like, the golf thing got just no way out, but... Then you got maybe, get the winter, go maybe in February. And that's considered winter, because technically speaking, it is just gonna feel, feel like cold by then, but still winter. <laughs> and that's my the timeline for making a big joke again. Thanks to no way out. But, well, it's not a joke. Um, so yeah. Too much work in the main part of the plot. It's interesting how sometimes that work out fine can kick day. I think that worked out fine, but I didn't produce the out. Maybe when it's a main part of the plot, but it's not <laughs> annoying to. And here he has a ten thing, but he worked fine. He actually does help out a little bit. He has a couple funny lines, you know, like, you know, when Doug got like, hey, the cap and often for my own, you know, what for me. Um, you know, like, you know, so he has some of the his main joke, you know, that he's not good at my most thing, being a little on their side, but it come up and we got good work, okay. And you could argue competitive in original game too, but because the other aspect of the character, you know, well, you know, again, like Norman Vanaka, it bounced out a vote. Um, you're gonna hold on that thought for uh, an upcoming episode. I might know. I haven't seen any of them with one, but I do know some stuff that happened in the them. Um, so yeah. But that's been pretty good. I, for 22 minutes, I'm going off like a lot to accomplish. But that happened, but, basically by the end, what will happen to that? Well, not much happened to the main thing. Um, you know, what happened is that the, it's more if they become aware of the aliens, and the aliens don't get to do a whole lot. Go so more like that kind of point. But it feels really, like, deep into the thing again, but probably more turn. but I believe it's like around the point where Mickey Milo came in, so. But that's one of the alien kick of fun joke. Uh, they have shrink their coloring back or are on the frit go away keep getting stuff about wanting to eat him, they don't want to eat him, they just want to study him and um figure out how to harness the murphy claw. But not uh, I'm expecting something bigger to happen with what we're doing with him than what happened. But I guess that's fine, we're gaming it for later in the game. Well big event happened in the cup plot in which the Cohen Cameron should come little, um, guy adventure and finally start. They've been doing a little repetitive, like in the Infinite League, or, well, I don't even remember what they were doing about that episode other than alien trash stuff. But this one kind of just gets a little sick of it because he wants to be seen young a hero, and he gave the day a few times, but no one seen it, and he wants to actually recognize the hero, you know. He got good at the first time, and he wants life bigger than that, and be recognized for whatever. You know, and I, and, it can, if we get our, I don't know, they capture that pretty well. Both, all the conflict between the two have become Cavendish being dumb. But I think this one, even though I uh, generally like, look up on, it could compare more, this one's a little more balanced between the two. Because Dakota, I don't know, feel more balanced, it doesn't feel like app, yet they have to do more making up, but it does feel less. I don't know, I think Cavendish get, Dakota gets equally interesting stuff to do here. And of course, the way that end, you get that point. Like, that's where I'm going kind of a couple on kick day, which of course they draw a parallel to, which I like, and I think it's nice that the code and do much work kind of bond over that, and both the counter like, and, 
Um, took a few lines to cut out, but like, man, they done, it was, like, I didn't cut it in general. Did a good job, not getting too much, like, either do for Dan, but I got a few lines, and some of you got, kind of, like, this one especially, where I'm like, hey, they kind of got to do turn. They become very talking to each other more now, so it's like, but, um, yeah, yeah, the victim, the victim didn't blow me away necessarily. Like, I can't, it doesn't feel like a ton was accomplished. You know, for 20 minutes ago, I expect more to get accomplished. But it was a fun little episode. You know, doing something you dwell, that was a pretty well handled a plot. That very interestingly so good with dynamic, the gun cabinets, who are generally are my favorite part of the show. And I believe even Vicky and Brick Plot, I like the way it progressed. Even if it's progressing a little slowly, it can be a little repetitive at times. So, but here are definitely been the perfect episode. The main stuff is more amusing, not really funny, but it's at least pretty interesting, and there are some funny parts. No song, oddly enough. They try to show some kind of background song each episode, but look up at a few of that one, look at one, just fine. Again, the song has not been doing it for me, for the most part. You know, again, the best song with the R in the city for Perfect, where they gang them. You know, yeah, well. Um, but yeah, uh, not a lot to get for this one, you know, not a ton to accomplish, but what happened with the cut plot and how that worked out ended up being pretty interesting and kind of carrying the couple code. Yeah, definitely, definitely interesting. Probably again, like a making, but I feel like it worked fine. So this one got pretty good. I don't care if it really good up a code or anything. I don't know, because it, but it does feel a little less. In terms of the special type of code, get like, Get Lecker and perfect different like a while now. I get Lecker and Mixing Mile from Among Us. But like at least about the same how many episode. Um so very think that. Oh yeah, it's pretty good for like a mid again actually for the thirteenth if half hour or thirteenth ish half hour somewhere on that. And it's supposed to be like twenty, then I get a little over midway, but but yeah, for that kind of episode, it was pretty good, and the couple of quite good, definitely. So, yeah, uh, I like the fun. I feel like they are, I think we're grooving again. Uh, we fall my own world, vocals just go good, and then that type of fire that was pretty good, but nothing spectacular. Um, and this one, it might, I like this more than the pretty pairing, so we might get back up there. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, from my perspective, I watched Lady Kirill before, um, the dog walker at one. But I'll watch Kick Blizzard in that, and that was really good, go. <laughs> they really killed, killed the momentum of, you know, let me tell you. Off of my bet. <laughs> but, um, um, I'm gonna keep talking about that book on our time. Uh, but, but yeah, Doug Murphy Gauntlet, not that book code, but not that far. I love them for goulash, like, you don't remember the name of them but, to it. No, I don't remember. Gloss Lanky and something. So that should be interesting. Um, so, yeah, that's all. Thank you for that. Um, bye.